good afternoon. Hi. So, um, perhaps we firstly start off with uh, uh, the purpose of this uh, discussion is to have a chat about uh, the C3 program and uh, for you to give us some feedback and for us to give you some feedback on your first assignment. And given that you were ranked very highly out of everyone who did the assignment at number three. So for, before we get into that though, um, perhaps you, if you could let us know who you guys are and, uh, and your backgrounds. Uh, sure, so we are from Minnow Designs. We yep. make uh, children's uh, products for children uh, to help make play easier for parents and more fun for kids. Um, Lorraine is our, you know, is a, is a fashion designer. Did you want to talk a bit about your background? Yep, so I'm a fashion designer with over 10 years experience working for large retailers. Um, I actually lived in Hong Kong for for four years and have lots of experience with manufacturing in China and production. And I spent uh, 15 years in corporate uh, consumer goods marketing roles, so we've quite, got quite complementary skill sets. And about three years ago, we were at the beach with our kids and found this niche in uh, wetsuit shoes for toddlers that no one was was doing. We found some recent had some recent success within the Australian Chinese community, and we're just exploring ways to um, potentially capitalise on that opportunity. So today, most of your sales are in Australia, are they? Yeah, yeah. So right. we've got sales in the US. Uh, but our fastest growing, most profitable, and now largest in terms of revenue are actually from Chinese consumers right. in Australia and Singapore. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Um, and uh, uh, you, you're obviously an incorporated company and you are selling in Australia and you, you because of the Chinese consumers in Australia consuming your products, that then leads, has led you to the logic that you'll try and sell it, sell it to Chinese in China. Yeah, um, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, right. So, um, my feedback on your assignment um, it was uh, quite brief because it seemed to me that um, you already had answered a lot of the, uh, the, 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 the questions pretty well. In particular, I thought your analysis of your competition and your, your market was reasonable. The only thing that, that didn't give me a feel for though was the size of the market. It, is this a sort of a, you know, a $100,000 a year market or is it $100 million a year in, in a place like China? Have you got, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just about to answer yeah. that question for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, fine. The, uh, the Chinese footwear market uh, for children is worth eleven billion dollars. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, it's grown. It's growing at forty-eight percent, which is if you put that in the context of the rest of the market, is sitting at about four percent globally. So it's uh, and with the introduction of the two-child policy, it's um, you know. Yeah, and and the particular footwear. Um, uh, obviously, for Chinese mothers in Australia, then it relates to the lifestyle here, you know, that every kid you know, gets to learn to swim really early in their life. But, um, and I can see how that probably works also in a province like Guangdong province, because, um, uh, you know, even my family there learned to swim pretty early on. Um, but uh, is this applicable although in northern China or, you know, is the use case the water sort of side case? Yeah, so that's that's actually one of our questions and one of the reasons that we, we decided to join the program before we went ahead and blundered our way into a potential distribution agreement without fully exploring the, the market opportunity. We know that there is appeal amongst uh, Chinese Australian mums here and, and mums in Singapore where they're close to the beach and, and, and have that lifestyle. We, we're yet to fully understand how, you know, which provinces this will uh, fit with, um, what the market opportunity is. We do know that there are a lot of mums that are buying them exclusively for indoor use. So they're, uh, they're you know, machine washable, they're very comfortable, they're very soft. Um, so they're using them, they're non-slips, they're using them indoors for their children. Right. That's potentially there. And there's also potential opportunity with our, our new product development. So, um, yeah, but the answer, the, the the short answer, the long mm. short answer is we're not entirely. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. And when you mentioned in one of your responses that uh, uh, what you mentioned earlier in this discussion and in one of your written responses 
that you're being sort of pulled that pulled through by WeChat sellers. Are we talking there there about basically Australian mums WeChat groups? Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, so yeah. They, yeah. So they they have approached us, and um, yeah, they they buy in bulk and then they promote our mm. groups. So okay. Very very simple, very easy model. Yeah very easy to deal with we love them so we wanted to do more of it and have you been approached at all by daigo at all for people you know there's people who want to send the stuff to china have they approached you yet we're not completely sure are we we've right they could be part they could be part of the wechat uh, buyers uh, uh already sending it to china right uh, we, we haven't seen the product on, say, Tmall, but we have seen it on yeah. Taobao, um, yeah. and, you know, not extensively, so uh, yeah. as, as yet, we, yeah. Okay, right here. So um, then moving on to um, uh, this uh, program, uh, the C3, uh, why did you, have you, why, you're obviously putting in a fair bit of effort. Does, is this a China expansion, therefore, a priority of your company at the moment? Is that, I presume that's why you're putting in the effort? Yeah, certainly understanding what the opportunity is, and we yeah. feel like uh, Haymarket HQ. We've you know we recently joined Haymarket HQ and the C three Challenger. Yeah. A great a great way to explore what that looks like. Oh, cool, and um, what um, what do you like about this C three thing so far? Uh, in other words, you already have done a lot of the work. I don't think we've added terribly much value, but so. <laughs> um, you have, so absolutely. So the content um, is in. It has just blown me away. It's been fantastic. Right. Oh, good. Oh, well, I'm glad you appreciate it. So you think the content uh, is pretty reasonable? Yeah, yeah. So we've um, uh, we recently provided feedback on the program. Um, the, the content is uh, so good. There is no way that we would have had insight into some of the businesses. So the case studies are fantastic. Um, right. The quality of the experts. We, we you know, we're, we're, we're a small business. We wouldn't ordinary okay. access to the, the quality of the experts in the program. So we, we feel really, uh, this, we're getting a lot of value and we feel um, really lucky to, to be participating. Um, and, you know, we figure if you're going to, if you're going to commit, you might as well commit. So we've, you know, that's yeah. why we're making sure we Cool. And uh, how can we improve it? What, what, what have we done wrong? <laughs> uh, the one bit of feedback oh, that yes. I did, <laughs> the one bit of feedback that I did, I did supply was that the, the three days is not long enough to get that assignment back because there's two right. of us in business. We've both got to go through the materials right. ah, okay. the around our kids. So we were yeah. like, even if it's just Friday afternoon, like that would yeah. be, you know, just yeah. give us a week to get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think Victoria's, Victoria's addressing that problem. Uh, best. We're removing the limit on when you get it back. We've I, got... think, I think having a deadline is great, though. Yeah. I, want, I want your feedback. So we, yeah. want, we want to be yeah. that top 50. We want to know how we're, how we're yeah. tracking. Having a deadline gives us a deadline. As you know, without a deadline, right. nothing gets done. Right. Uh, so a deadline is great. It's just we just need an extra day or two. Right. Be amazing. Okay. Um, well, I think we're addressing that problem. And uh, uh, finally, if I asked you for a net promoter score, what would you give us? Ten. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a it's a free program, and like I say, the quality of that content for us to go out and find that would be hundreds of hours to to you know. Yeah, sure. it would be thousands. We'd, pay, we'd, we'd be paying the, the likes of these specialists tens of thousands of dollars for this. Okay, cool. So we're really, well, really happy. Cool. Okay, well, um, uh, I hope to um, mark your next assignment uh, and get that back to you in the next few next few days. And uh, let's see how you go. And thank and thank you very much for doing this interview. Last point is, uh, how do people find you? Like, have you got a website or something? Yeah. So our website is midowndesigns.co. And, um, and they can find out more information about us and our products there. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.